Headlines, we have some colder air. Our coldest air of the season is actually moving into the region. And we have frost and freeze advisories currently in effect. And a no rain for a while, which means that burn ban is actually being reactivated. So, of course, no burning the fires, no throwing cigarette butts, no nothing. So 86 to firing, most importantly, over the next couple of days. Currently across the regions, we have all these watches and warnings going on. It looks like it snowed. Like, I mean, blue, all this light blue over here is uh, immediate freeze warnings are in effect. We have frost freeze watches in effect, and we have hard freeze warnings currently in effect for Oklahoma and Colorado. So during your freeze, what do you have to do? We have to bring in all outdoor plants. If it's going to be this cold for several hours, your plants can die and get killed, any vegetation. Protect your outdoor animals, of course. If you're out and about, dress in layers. Keep that body heat close and currently in Delta region of 41, 31 dew point, barometric pressure is rising and the northwesterly breeze continues at 7 miles per hour and temperatures at uh, Almanac yesterday, 62 and 46, normal 69, so we're several degrees below normal. Perfect on the dot for the low temperature and the records, 23, we're not even to come close to that at all and of course in the bucket, nothing. Currently across the state, temperatures are pretty uniform except down in Meridian, 34 degrees. It got cold down there, and I mean cold. 41 in Greenwood, 43 in the capital city of Jackson. Satellite radar, absolutely nothing to talk about. Just a few high weather clouds to our north with a couple of rain showers in the Tennessee and the shores of New England. And this means wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for the next few days as high pressure dominates all the way from here all the way out there, which means temperatures are going to be chilly as this northwesterly breeze continues. And we can see the 24-hour temperature change from about 24 hours ago at this point in time. Minneapolis, 12 degrees cooler. Pierre, 10 degrees cooler. All this air is funneling on in to our area over the next couple days. So watch the future cast. This red line right here represents the 32-degree mark, and it just zooms on up. And during the overnight hours, you can actually just see it fly right back in, all the way down to the panhandle of Florida, and zooms right back up as temperatures warm up during the daytime. And Hurricane Tomas, which is going to be, uh, feel bad for the Haitian people, got Calor, earthquake, now a hurricane to worry about. Flooding, mass evacuations, it's going to head out to sea over the next few days, and it's just bringing devastation. So today, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, 57 Lake Village, 56 here in Greenville, and for tonight, temperatures are looking like this. Very chilly, temperatures 30 degrees around here, the area. And if you're heading off to work today, temperatures 40s. So my forecast is looking like this, 52 to 57 today, and they're in the overnight hours. Very chilly, 28 to 33, depending on where you are, 20s to the north of us. And for today on Saturday, a little bit warmer than it was today, still unseasonably cool, a light northeasterly breeze, just under five miles per hour, and a seven day future cast looks like this. Oh, cold. And don't forget, tomorrow night around 2 o'clock, clocks go backwards to 1, and temperatures moderating pretty nicely. Upper 60s to low 70s, overnight lows moderating as well, 30s, 40s, and eventually the low 50s. So overall, not too bad of a forecast. Chilly, so it's just uh, going to have to bear with just the next couple of days. Going to have to.